Hello everyone. So we're going to talk about publishing data from Aviva InTouch HMI application into Aviva Insight solution. In this video, uh, we will follow all the steps starting from installing InTouch all the way to seeing the data replicated in our Insight solution. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're going to go through the installation of InTouch or InTouch HMI. Um, I ran the setup file for um, Aviva System Platform 2020 R2 SP1, and I'm going to click on InTouch. And as you can see here, once I click on InTouch or select InTouch, the Insight Publisher is also selected. I cannot unselect that. I'm going to choose all the features that I'm interested in, and then I'm going to click Next. So we wait for the software to be installed. Um, it is informing us that it will be adding these features. So as you can see there, Insight Publisher with InTouch. And we keep on clicking on Next, agree on the uh, policy, and just wait for the installation to take place. All right, so now InTouch is installed. So the first thing to do is I'm going to open the Aviva Application Manager. And I'm going to edit that demo application. We'll wait for the um, InTouch window maker to open. And the first thing we need to do here is to go to the special menu and configure and then go to historical logging. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that we are logging the data to be able to replicate it or publish it into Insight. So I click that checkbox. And then the next step is to go to runtime. You need to make sure that runtime is always on or it's always, uh, the runtime window is always open in order for your data to get replicated from InTouch to Insight. If the runtime is closed, then there will be no replication. So now the next step is I'm going to go to Insight website and uh, I'm going to sign in or log in to my account. And I want to install Insight Publisher. And the reason why I want to do that is because um, I personally found it more reliable to download um, or to install this Insight Publisher from Insight website and use it to publish data from InTouch to Insight rather than using the publisher that comes with Insight itself. It might be, the reason might be because of, um, version incompatibility i don't know i'm not sure but i got some errors when i used the intouch publisher and um it worked better when i used the insight publisher that i got from the insight website and it's very easy to download you just need to go to administration and then you need to go to downloads and from downloads i uh, sh you should see the um insight publisher and just click on download. So once you install the Insight Publisher from um, Insight website, you can place it in the um, Wonderware folder in Program Files and then go to Insight Publisher and install it. Once the installation is done, then we can start the publication um, process from InTouch to Insight. The publisher setup will ask you then to restart your uh, machine, so you need to do that. Then once you restarted your machine, um, run the Insight publisher one more time and follow these steps. So the first step is to launch the publisher and then click on publish. Once you choose publish, you need to also choose the region. Next step is to um, sign in with your account. So if you have an existing account, then you sign in with your account. If you don't have a, an account, then you need to create one to be able to access uh, your Insight solution. So your Insight solution should have been prepared in advance before you start publishing from InTouch to Insight. So once you sign into your Insight, 
then you need to choose the uh, solution that you're interested in or and then you need to choose the application that you are uh, replicating from or the in-touch application that you're replicating from and it will show you the application path you need to also give a name to this uh, data source so this process i'm calling it in touch to insight this will appear as the data source in my insight solution you can skip the um, uh, geographic location information those are not necessary you can add them if you want to and then um, you are done with the publication the next step would be to visit the insight website and then you need to sign in uh, to your account and choose the solution that you're duplicated to The next step would be to go to um, administration and then click on data sources to see what data sources were uh, replicating to Insight. And as you can see, there is in touch to Insight. This was published a few seconds ago. This is the one that we um, we just replicated basically. Or this is the data that we've just replicated from our in touch application to Insight. And although the publication happened or the channel is open, but there's actually no data because we don't have the in-touch application runtime window open yet. So what we need to do next is we need to go to in-touch application and make sure that our runtime window is um, or a window viewer is on. Once the runtime window is on, we need to go back to our inside solution and check again on the data sources. You can see um, data was replicated three minutes ago. And if we click on the home screen one more time or we go back to the home page one more time, we can search for the data points that were replicated from our demo in touch application to our insight solution. So in the search bar there, you, you could just type in the data source name. So in our case, it's in touch to insight. And once I type in that, you can see there are 24 data points associated to this um, application or were replicated from this in touch application. I just click on one of them, analog one, I already can see values. So obviously we started replicating a few minutes back, so we only have a few minutes worth of data. And this way uh, we have replicated data from InTouch application all the way to Insight Solution. And uh, we've reached the end of our video. If you like this video, we also have other videos that talk about replicating data from Aviva Historian into Aviva Insight or um, publishing data from Aviva Edge solution to Aviva Insight. Thank you for watching.